Thank you for tuning in and welcome to Jamie TV where we don't piss it pants about. Just recently, Nabrini Audio added to their considerable list of classic guitar amplifier emulations with the DC30, their take on the much loved Vox AC30. Now I always wanted an AC30 ever since being a little kid because I'm a big Brian May fan, so I got really excited about this app and I think it's pretty stellar. But it doesn't really matter what I think, this software, by the way, is available for desktop and Mac and iPad and iPhone. What I'm going to do today is I'm going to have a play around with the app. I'm going to make some noise with it on my iPad. I'm going to show you how it works so that you can decide whether this is something that you might want to spend your hard earned cash on. Let's check out the app in detail now and find out how it all works. If you are already familiar with Nambrini apps, you can skip this next little section because I'm going to talk about these controls across the top, which are common to all Nambrini apps. If we look at the burger icon over here on the left, we can find out a little detail about the app. And if we click on the link at the top, we'll visit Nambrini's website where we can check out the manual. Here we have a plus and minus so that we can toggle through the presets without actually visiting the menu, which we would visit by clicking here. Um, here is a folder of presets that I've made for myself. These are the sounds that you're hearing in this demo. And if I fold it back, I can visit the factory presets that the app comes with. Here we've got an undo and redo, so if we've just made a change to the amp and we decide that we dislike it, we can simply press undo and it will go back to where it was before, because we can never find exactly where that knob was before, can we? Um, and of course we also have a redo, so we can, didn't mean to press that, so we can undo and redo. Okay, now here we've got the A and B section. So for every preset that you make, you can make an alternate version. So let's say if in bank A, you've made a sound that you really like, and you're gonna save that sound. What you can do is copy that across to bank B, and then in bank B, make a slight change to it. Like let's say you might want a version of that sound with more output or some other kind of change that might be useful to you. And when you save that preset, it saves both banks. You can save your preset by clicking here. And here is save as, where you can name the preset and choose what folder to put it in and even create a new folder of your own. And if you really don't like the preset that you're checking out, you can delete it off with this button here. And here we can switch the app on and off so that we can sort of A-B test it against clean guitar if you like. Now here is the main way in which the software differs from an actual AC30. On an AC30, over here on the left, you would see a number of inputs for your guitar. And you choose one depending on what function or section of the amp you want to use. 
Now I found that very confusing the first time I had a go with an actual AC30. Maybe I'm just a stupid old hippie but I really did find that a bit difficult to get my head around. But regardless we don't need to worry about that in the app. What we have is four buttons to choose from that will determine how the amp is going to function. Okay, so we have the vibrato slash tremolo side of the amplifier activated here. So let's have a look at the controls that relate to this channel of the amplifier. Here we can select whether we want vibrato or tremolo and what speed we want it to be. This control has six positions. So at the moment we're wound all the way around to the slowest vibrato. And if I take it up a notch, we should get a slightly faster vibrato. And one more notch, we'll get the fastest vibrato available. Okay, and as we go one notch further round, we move into the tremolo section. And let's have a faster tremolo. And the fastest one we have on the amp. Okay, now the volume for this section of the amplifier is here and we can also add and cut reverb and we can cut some tone here. These two controls are global so no matter which section of the amplifier you've selected up here you will still be able to use the cut and the reverb. The cut simply removes tone. The, the more I turn it up the more it removes top end. So let's just uh, let's just have a chord here and I'll try and demonstrate that. <laughs> It is very difficult playing guitar and using a mouse and talking all at the same time. There we go. Let's see how that sounds much darker now. Now on an AC30 one of the inputs that you can select is more or less just about pure tone. It's about balancing the preamp volume against the master output volume to determine how much breakup you want. And that's what's being emulated here on this normal channel. So if I just unmute here and we'll get some hiss because we've got some gain cranked up here. If I just back this normal volume back off a little and crank the output up, we get a much clean the sound. We can of course still use the reverb, in fact this might be an opportunity to show you how nice this reverb can sound. And we can still use the cut control to take off the top end. Okay now I'm just going to wind down the output there and move over to the brilliant channel. Now this is a much brighter sounding channel and this channel allows us to use the treble and bass controls. So let's just have a, a couple of chords. Right, I'm going to wind that down for a moment and take the output up. Okay, and let's add a little bass. Cut some treble. Now you hear that's kind of dark sounding at the moment. Let's take the cut way back and take that bass back down. And then we can get that real kind of biting clarity. And of course, what this channel really specializes in is that really dirty high gain. Oh, not enough volume, just a moment. Okay, and then of course, if we move over to the normal Brilliant Link, what we have is a combination of both of these channels together. So we can balance these two gains, and of course we've still got the bass and treble. In fact, when we're on, on this section, we have everything happening on the face of the amp, apart from, uh, we don't need this volume here, or this. And finally, if I go up here and select Rack, in here we have a very, very effective noise gate. We have an input control so that you can select a 
an appropriate input volume for your individual guitar. And over here, if we go into this browser, we can select speaker and microphone emulations. And this really, for me, is where the magic of this app is. It is stunning how much difference these different emulations can make. And we can also toggle through them here if that's easy for you and we can bypass the cabinet and mic altogether over here The DC-30 is without a doubt my new favourite guitar amp simulation. It's everything I was looking for. And I hope that I've covered everything in this video that you might need to know to make a decision on whether it might be the app for you. If I have missed anything, then by all means, comment below the video with your questions. I always answer. And all of my other contact information is down below the video as well. How you can help the channel, my Patreon, my website, blah, 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 blah. So until next time, be good people, take care of yourselves, make lots of music, pop over to Bandcamp and buy some merch, and don't piss your pants about. See you later. <laughs>